What's going on fam? It's your girl Abiella Akani here with a new YouTube video. So y'all, I want to get right into it. This is going to be a lock care video ultimately on how to retwist and wash your locks. And this is for all my folks out there who are new on their lock journey or who have been through their lock journey and it's been several years and are really looking to learn how to care for their locks better without needing to go to the salon for help. When I started my locks, it was about 10 years ago, and I was really naive as to how to care for them and how to keep them healthy. One of the things that I did was a few years in, I dyed my locks blonde. I dyed them blonde and I really didn't know how to care for that dye job. I wasn't even caring for my locks that well to begin with and the dye ate at the ends of my lock. And I lost quite a bit of length. You can even see um, a little bit of that color from the blonde. Now, mind you, this was several years ago. I wanna say I lost about five inches. Now, I told you, I've been growing my locks for 10 years, so they should be longer. So I'm hoping that this video will really help you learn how to care for your locks because they need to be cared for just like any other hair. They need to be shampooed, they need to be deep conditioned, and utilizing the right products and finding the right products can also be challenging as well. So I'm hoping this video can help you to find products that don't leave residue, that can continue to nourish and strengthen your locks after you retwist, and give you that fresh, clean feeling. Let me show you what I'm working with right now. <laughs> this is what we are washing today. It's probably been a little bit over, it's about a month or two that I haven't washed my locks, and so we really need this. I just got back from the gym, so I'm looking forward to getting some water and some shampoo and some deep conditioner on these locks. So let's go ahead and get started, y'all. Now the products that I'm gonna be using today are actually from Napstar and they are based in New York. I love Napstar products because they are super, super light and utilize a lot of natural ingredients. I also love that it's a family owned business. So I'll start with Napstar's clarifying shampoo. I'll do two full shampoo washes and I actually like to put the product in a squeezy bottle and I'll fill it with half water. I like the pointed tip because it helps me redirect the product where I want it to go and you'll notice that I will start by massaging the product through my scalp and then I'll work it towards the ends of my locks. After I do my two washes, I'll deep condition. All right, let's go y'all. So we have washed our locks and now I've just let them dry a little bit in this towel. They're a little bit damp, but not too wet. The retwisting products we're gonna be using today is Napstar's Lavender Retwisting Oil. It's super duper light. We're also gonna be using their Rose Water Hydrating Mist. I'm gonna spray that all over my locks and we're also gonna use a organic aloe vera gel. This stuff is grade A. As I said, I'm going to spritz my entire head with that rose water hydrating mist. And then I'm going to put my hair in a bun at the top of my head because I like to retwist from the back up. I'm gonna draw a towel over my shoulders just to catch any excess water. I gotta get my laptop ready to get the Netflix going because this is a long process. And like I said, that lavender retwisting oil smells so good. You can tell it's just, it's fresh lavender and they use fresh lavender. And then it is time to go. I'm going to put a little bit of the retwisting oil in the palm of my hand and work it to my fingertips. Then I'm gonna draw it to the root of my lock where I'm gonna slowly start to pull apart the hair that started to connect with surrounding locks around it. So I want to ultimately recreate my part. And then I'm going to draw that extra hair, that new growth, just twist it around the root of the lock, but also make sure it's flat so I'm drawing out any knots or bulging. 
And you can utilize an interlocking tool here to do the same effect. Sometimes I do that, other times I do not. For this occasion, I'm not doing that. For every single lock, I did do it on a few, but not every one. And then I'll start to palm roll down to the base of the lock. And I'm not gonna show you each individual lock, so let's speed through. The time is now 8.10, and I'm just now finishing retwisting my hair. This is a long process. I started around three or four. Usually it takes me three hours, but the longer your locks get, the longer my locks have gotten, the more time it takes to retwist them. My hair smells so good because of the lavender retwisting oil that I use from Napstar. This is one thing I highly suggest when you are retwisting your locks. Do not use anything thick. Don't use any kind of puddings or lotions or waxes. That is going to end up leaving so much residue in your hair that will build up over time. Everything is retwisted here and I want to create a little bit of a curl pattern. So I'm going to actually braid a few of them together and I will show y'all what they look like in the morning because I have not eaten dinner and it's been a long day of retwisting. So I'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning, y'all. It is now the next day and I had a horrible sleep, which I usually do when I have some type of style in my locks, just because my scalp is so sensitive, but I'm taking them out now. <laughs> I know y'all don't want to watch me untwist this whole thing. So I'm going to finish this and then come back. Y'all, I actually have a informal date to get to. So I'm going to do my makeup really quick with this Merit Beauty Perfecting Complexion Stick. And I'm going to dab a few spots onto my face and then use their blending brush to blend it in. The complexion stick matches my skin color really well and it's not heavy. And then I'm going to add this under eye concealer underneath my eye. This is a different product. I think this is from Milani. So I'm gonna actually add it underneath both of my eyes here and then I will blend it in with a blending sponge. Now I like to keep my makeup super natural as y'all know and I'm gonna blend, blend, blend it in and then I'll use Merit Beauty's brow pomade just to bring some structure and more definition to my brows. I'll use my loose powder from MAC. This is just a translucent loose powder that I just kind of use to kind of blend everything in. And then I will close everything out with one of Merit Beauty's Shade Slick Sticks in this color. It's like an orangey color that doesn't show up so much on my lips, but you can see a little bit of a pop. All right, y'all, this is our final look. We got some crimps going on. I hope y'all enjoyed this lock care video and ultimately learning how to care for your locks, how to wash them, how to retwist them. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will answer them very soon. Let me know your thoughts, y'all, and I look forward to hearing from you. Be well, fam.